so much for clicking on my video. This is going to be my first video, so bear with me, but I wanted to welcome you all to Divergent Mind Club. I'm really excited to get this page started. Today we're going to be talking about a system that I've put a lot of love and care into. It's a system that I've created myself with some inspiration from some people on TikTok, and I like to call it Chore Charms. So I personally came up with this system because I have pretty severe ADHD and I find it extremely difficult to remember to do stuff around the house. I will completely forget that stuff has to be done in the first place. <laughs> This idea was inspired by multiple different people on TikTok. I had seen that there was a bunch of people putting chores on these little gummy bracelets and then using them as reminders to do them on their wrist. For me, simply having the chores written down on a gummy bracelet that annoys me wasn't enough. So I came up with an entire system start to finish that uh, balances out the work a little bit each day and that way I don't really have to think about it and I still make sure I get everything done. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, so I've blown everything up. This is all we're gonna need. Let's go through the pieces first. So I have a hourly schedule that I laminated for dollar at um, Staples, that's what it's called. And then we also have my calendar, which I update once a month. And you're also gonna need a pack of gummy bracelets and little tags from Amazon. If you don't like the clinky clinky, which is fair, a lot of people don't like that sound, or maybe it's just annoying and too heavy. There's another option, which is a gummy bracelet with laminated pages to make them whiteboard erasable that you can write your chores onto and change them every day if you want. We finally have our board cleaned off. That was a big job, but we have to get it set up for February since it's January 31st. So why don't we go ahead and add the date and the days. We got all our dates done. Okay, awesome. So now we're gonna grab our color corresponding markers. In the top corner, you can see the red signifies bedroom. Green means living room. Orange is for the kitchen, the blue is for cat related tasks, and the purple is for the bathroom. So this is going to seem like a bit of a big job, but you only have to do it once a month and it only takes anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour depending on how good your whiteboard eraser is. Alright, so the first color we're going to pick is the cats because that's one that we want to make sure we get one or two done every single day. So we are going to chaotically add two dots every single day. What this means is we are going to every day pick two charms that correspond to the cats. They are the blue charms and then we'll put those on our wrist and that means we have to get those chores done on that day. Next up we are going to pick the bedroom chores. So the whole point of this is to try and space it out so that you get everything in your house done during the month or during the week without it being too overwhelming or having to spend an entire day cleaning your house top to bottom. So for the bedroom, we have more time on the weekends. So we're gonna make three bedroom dots on Sundays. Let's do the bedroom on Sundays. And then we'll also add, we'll do two on Wednesdays and let's throw in one on Fridays. So let's get that on the board now. There's a lot of tasks for the bedroom, as you can see here, but it's not looking super full. That's okay. The point is we're trying to balance everything out so that it flows freely. Next, we're gonna go with the living room. Now, a living room, we don't have a huge amount of chores. The jar is pretty empty. So let's make living room one thing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Our board is finally starting to fill out. Now, we still haven't done any kitchen tasks, so let's see what days we don't have a large amount of tasks. Looks like Saturdays are pretty free, as well as Mondays. So let's have three kitchen tasks, Mondays and on Saturdays. The last things we are missing, bathroom. So if we take a look at our board, where do we think we can fit a couple of bathroom tasks? It looks like our Tuesdays and our Thursdays are still pretty light. So let's add one bathroom task a day. Now let's double check that we have all of our colors. We've got all five in the corner and we have indeed five different colors on our board. We're doing great. The next step is to take your most frequently needed chore, which is the bedroom, and just plunk in dots for it wherever you see a lighter day. We went ahead and looked at our board and we thought, found that there was some room to add one Friday and one Tuesday to our bedroom tasks. I'm going to use Monday the 1st and Tuesday the 2nd as examples. We are going to grab our bracelets. We have any three yellow ones and any two blue ones you can pick depending on your energy level and how much you think you can give realistically for that day. And you're going to put them in whatever order you want to do them in on your wrist. So the last thing I'm going to do is brush the cats. I'll put away the dishes right before that, and before I put them away, I have to wash the dishes. 
let's change the cat's water bowl second today and we'll start by organizing the desk. So these are all of my chores that I have to complete today. As I go through them, it reminds me what exactly I have to do. So what we're looking at for uh, Monday the 1st is organizing the desk, changing the cat's water bowl, washing the dishes, putting away the dishes, and brushing the cats. So objectively, those are not that difficult of a task to do. It's a lot more manageable when you look at it this way. Instead of having five chores to do around the house, you have five small things to do. And once you're done, these things are annoying as hell. Part of chore charms is that they uh, really bother you. And you get the negative reinforcement of the charm paired with the positive reinforcement of completing the task and removing it and the little serotonin boost of throwing it in the jar. So next up, I'm going to show you guys what is on the different charms. Now, I made my charms for my personal life, depending on what chores are in what rooms. That's how they all color correspond. So for the bathroom, we have clean the sink, do the laundry because it's in the bathroom, clean the toilet, clean the floors, and clean the shower. For the kitchen, we have clean out fridge, put away dishes, organize desk, wash dishes, clean the floors, the countertops, take out garbage and recycling, and the shoes and coat section, organize. So bedroom, we have organize our baskets because we have our socks and underwear in baskets instead of it being in drawers. Put away the laundry, organize the closet, the bedroom floor, change the bed sheets, and the nightstand. For the cats, we have change the water bowl, change all three boxes, vacuum the cat towers and brush the cats. And finally, for the living room, we have living room floors, the countertop or tabletops in there, the closet in there, and organize the pillows and blankets. Whenever I have a lot to do on a busy day, sometimes I will use the clear bracelets. My skincare routine, these are just reminders to brush my teeth, to shave my legs, and to take a shower. Now, if all of these are not gonna work for you, there's other ways you can go about this system. Here's an example of another one that I've made, and these are laminated pieces of paper. That's all it is. You can get a sheet laminated for about a dollar at Staples, and you just write on them whatever you want to get done that day and wash it away. All right, and that is pretty well how you use the chore charms. Um, for a lot of people, that'll be enough. The system will work great for you, but for me personally, just having all of this stuff isn't quite enough. So I have my daily hourly schedule breakdown and depending on my day, I will add each of these with their corresponding colors to my chart and plan out my day 30 minutes by 30 minutes. All right, so every morning I wake up, I give myself 30 minutes to lay in bed. Then I get up and I make a cup of coffee. I come to my board. I grab my daily hourly schedule and I block it out for the day depending on what chores I have to get done that specific day. After I'm done my schedule, I look at my charms and I will pick out the charms that I think I have the energy to successfully complete today. So pretending it's Monday the 1st, we need three kitchen charms. So let's see what we got. Good options are put away the dishes, organize the desk, and organize the shoes and coat rack if I'm having a more tired day. If I'm feeling more energetic and more able to get stuff done, then maybe I would clean out the fridge, wash the dishes, and take out the garbage and recycling instead. It's all about what you personally think you can successfully get done that day, and it's about being kind to yourself and not getting mad at yourself for not getting things done, because it's okay and it happens the mock-up of my Monday, February 1st schedule. You can see I am, blo I've blocked out the hours I'm sleeping. I wake up at 8, get up out of bed at 8.30 because I have to give myself 30 minutes to kind of wake up. Then I'm going to spend a half hour doing my kitchen chores, a half hour doing my cat chores before I get ready and go to work and then I work in this blacked out time. I am done work, come home, eat. I've got a half hour of free time before I get ready for bed and go to bed. So Mondays are usually harder days because, you know, Monday is a Monday. The next chores we're gonna pick are two cat chores. And I'm just gonna be easy on myself for Monday because it's usually a hard day. So let's find some easier cat chores. Let's change the water again. 
and we'll brush them as well. Now we have our daily hourly schedule done. We are consulting our whiteboard and we've picked out our five chores for Monday morning. Now we're gonna put them on our wrist in the order that we would like to get them done. So the last thing we're gonna do is brush the cats. The second last thing we're gonna do is change the cat's water dishes. And let's do shoes and coats before that. Second thing we'll do will be organize the desk and we'll start the day by putting away the dishes. So now I have them on my arm in the order that I would like to do them in. I really love doing it this way because with ADHD, every time I'm walking around trying to clean things, I just see more stuff that has to be done, more stuff that has to be cleaned and I add it to my, I guess, internal to-do list. But this way, it keeps me on the specific task I'm trying to get done that day and stops me from getting overwhelmed by the copious amount of other chores that I have to get done from doing these ones. Once I am done this, we've got all our chores, I have a spot on my wall I pin this to so I can see it very clearly. And then we're just going to go around the house doing our chores. And every single time a chore is complete, you get to put it in the jar. But there are a couple rules to the game. There's only two ways you get to remove these. Overstimulation or breakdown, because it happens and it's okay and we're not going to be mad at ourselves for it. We're just going to take them off, go for a walk, and maybe give it another try, maybe try again tomorrow. It's okay. We're still trying to get used to this, right? So when you're done, the other way you get your charms off is by plunking them in the serotonin jar. So you get to take the jar and you take your bracelet. So this is really great because having the bracelets on your wrist is a tactile thing, it's an auditory thing, and honestly it's annoying as hell. So it's it's got the negative reinforcement of this is on my wrist, I want to get this off my wrist without it being so much that it overwhelms me. And then I get the positive reinforcement of being able to remove it from my wrist mixed with more positive reinforcement of successfully dropping it in the jar. By the time I leave for work, I should have no charms left on my wrist, which is great. It feels so good to be able to get all of those chores done, as well as to know confidently that I did in fact get them done because I have the memory of a goldfish. Then at the very end of the day before I go to bed so that I can get everything reset for the morning, I go through my completed chores jar and I take out anything that is done more than once a week. So changing the cat's water dish, that's done more than once a week, it goes back in my chore jar. Brushing the cats more than once a week, it goes back in my chore jar. Putting the dishes away, back in the jar. Organizing the desk, back in the jar. And the shoes and coats, organizing them out of the front door, that is a weekly task, so that stays, ooh. That is a weekly task, so that stays in the jar until the end of the week when I go through them again and put them all back. Now, I know this is a lot of information and it seems very, very overwhelming, but it's all about balance. So your chore uh, calendar, you only reset that once a week. It does not have to be a big calendar. You could literally just use a laminated piece of paper. You could use a tiny whiteboard. It doesn't really matter. Whatever works best for you. None of this is a rule or anything like that. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and create a system that works best for you, for your family, and for your brain. I hope that this video has helped at least a couple of people out there. It definitely, this system definitely has changed my life for the better. It made life a lot more manageable. I don't dread existing nearly as much. Thank you for joining me while I explain it all to you and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.